Spicy Medtech here. So, ito na po yung 6th installment natin sa ating series on the different recalls and must-knows for the board exam. And for this episode, I will be covering histopathology and medtech laws and ethics. Let's begin. Number 1. Which microtome is ideal for celloid in embedded specimens? A. Freezing microtome B. Rotary microtome C. Sliding microtome or D. Ultra thin microtome. So, answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter C. Sliding microtome. So, ang ating sliding microtome is the ideal microtome for celloid in embedded specimens. Yung letter A naman, yung freezing microtome, is commonly employed in frozen sections. Yung letter B, yung rotary microtome, is commonly found in the lab to cut blocks of tissue embedded in paraffin. Yung letter D naman, yung ultra thin microtome, is suitable for specimens to undergo electron microscopy. Number 2. The first and most important procedure in the preparation for microscopic examination. A. Dehydration B. Fixation C. Clearing or D. Embedding So, yung answer po natin dito sa number 2 ay letter B. Fixation so, itong fixation po natin is the first step in tissue processing and it is the most important because it preserves cells in a lifelike state for microscopic examination. So, the steps in tissue processing are as follows. First is fixation, then it is followed with decalcification, dehydration, clearing, impregnation, embedding, trimming, section cutting, staining, mounting, and finally, labeling. So for number two, our first step in tissue processing would be letter B, fixation. Number three, which of the following is not employed in dehydration? A, benzene, B, dioxane, C, ethanol, or D, acetone? So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter A, benzene. So, itong benzene po natin is not a dehydrating agent, but it is a clearing agent. It is very rapid, but is not widely used because it can cause tissue shrinkage and is carcinogenic in nature. Yung letter B naman, which is ang dioxane, is better at dehydration than the routine ethanol, but tends to ribbon poorly. While letter D, acetone, is used for more urgent biopsies but can cause tissue brittleness in some cases. So answer po natin sa number 3 ay letter A, benzene. Number 4. Which of the following is described as the reduction of body temperature and loss of skin elasticity that occurs after death? A. Rigor mortis B. Liver mortis C. Putrefaction or D. Algor mortis so, ang answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter D, algor mortis. So, itong algor mortis natin is described as the reduction of body temperature and loss of skin elasticity that occurs after death. Yung algor mortis po natin is considered to be the second stage of death. Letter A, rigor mortis, is the stiffness or post-mortem rigidity that is also the third stage of death. Letter B, yung liver mortis, is the bluish-purple discoloration under the skin due to the gravitation of blood after death and is also considered the fourth stage of death. Letter C, putrefaction, refers to the breakdown or decomposition of proteins after death and is considered to be the fifth stage of death. So, answer po natin sa number 4, ay letter D, algor mortis, or the reduction of body temperature after death. Number 5. Serves as the Chairman of the Council for Medical Technology Education. Letter A. PRC Chairperson. Letter B. CHED Secretary. C. PAMET President. Or letter D. PASMETH President. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 5 ay letter B. CHED Secretary. So, as stipulated in Section 3 of RA 5527 or the Philippine Medical Technology Act of 1969, the Council of Medical Technology Education should have the CHED Secretary as its chairman. 
the director of the Bureau of Research and Laboratories of the DOH as the vice chairman, and the PAMET and PSP presidents as the members of the council. So answer po natin sa number 5, letter B, Chad Secretary for the Chairman of the Council for Medical Technology Education. Number 6, the Medical Technology Code of Ethics was revised during the presidency of which PAMET president? Letter A, Norma Chang. Letter B, Charlemagne Tamundong. Letter C, Agnes Medanilia. Or letter D, Nardito Moraleta. So, answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter A, Norma Chang. So, it was during the term of Norma Chang on 1997 to 2000 where the Medical Technology Code of Ethics was revised. The presidents mentioned are also recognized for their notable contributions to the profession and are as follows. Norma Chang for international leadership. Charlemagne Tamundong, the first PAMET president for the emergence of the profession. Letter C, Agnes Medanilia for organizational dynamism. And letter D, Nardito Moraleta for the professional recognition, 1967 to 1970. Number 7, what is the maximum imposable penalty of imprisonment for the violation of RA 5527? Letter A, one year. Letter B, six months. Letter C, 24 months. Or letter D, 10 years. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter C, 24 months. So, as stipulated in Section 29 of RA 5527 of the Philippine Medical Technology Act of 1969, without prejudice to the provision of the Medical Act of 1959 as amended pertaining to the illegal practice of medicine, the following shall be punished by a fine of not less than 2,000 pesos nor more than 5,000 pesos or imprisonment for not less than 6 months nor more than 2 years or both in the discretion of the court. So, not more than 2 years which is equivalent to 24 months. So, answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter C. Number 8. Which of the following does not fall under the terms of RA 9288? Letter A, G6PD deficiency. Letter B, galactosemia. Letter C, cretinism. Or letter D, none of the above. So, answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter D, none of the above. So, Republic Act 9288, also known as the Newborn Screening Act of 2004, is an act promulgating a comprehensive policy in a national system for ensuring newborn screening. It ensures that children or neonates are to be screened for originally 6 diseases and has since then been expanded to screen for over 20 diseases. So, letter A, B, and C, GXPD deficiency, galactosemia, and cretinism are all included alongside with other diseases and syndromes like phenylketonuria and maple syrup urine disease. So, the answer for number 8, letter D, none of the above. Number 9. Fixative used in the study of early degenerative process and tissue necrosis. Demonstrate rickettsia and other bacteria. Letter A. B5 fixative. Letter B. Orth's fluid. Letter C. Heidenhain's Sousa solution. Letter D. Picric acid. So, answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter B. Orth's fluid. So, itong Orth's fluid natin is very useful to demonstrate rickettsia and other bacteria and is also used in the study of early degenerative process and tissue necrosis. Letter A, yung B5 fixative is used mainly for bone marrow biopsies. Letter C, Heidenhain Sousa solution is used in tumor biopsies. And letter D, picric acid fixatives are useful in glycogen demonstration. So the answer for number 9 is letter B, Orth's fluid. Number 10, Chris Bridget is a responsible medical technologist, but her chief medtech accused her of violating Section 33 of RA 5527. She can be imprisoned for a minimum of letter A, 1 month, letter B, 6 months, letter C, 1 year, or letter D, none of the above. So, answer put natin dito sa number 10. Simply put is letter D, none of the above. So, why? 
We're talking about RA-5527 or the Philippine Medical Technology Act of 1969. And simply put, RA-5527 only has 32 sections. So obviously, the answer would be letter D, none of the above. So that would be all for the first set of the different recalls and must-knows for the board subjects. I will be making a second batch soon and hopefully I could push around 15 to 20 questions per subject per video. And I apologize for taking quite some time with HTMLE because I admit that I am not as familiar with HTMLE as I am with other subjects. So for now, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned. Please like and subscribe and I hope you can comment down below on any other topics you want me to cover on this channel. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.